What is going on YouTube? This is Train Our Car 100 and you're watching one of my Wi-Fi battle videos. It's the three day weekend, fun stuff, I have homework, got relatives over for the weekend. It's all good, except for the homework part. But anyways though, today's match is an OU match out with somebody from the smog on forums. I'm testing out an OU team and I'm still tinkering it around with. So, let's see how this goes. He started off with Landorus T, and the way I see it, he could have Stalfox like me, but he switches out into Jellicent here, which has will Wisp, but I dodge it, but he goes for Skald. I'm like, please don't burn me. Like, honestly, how would you have Skald and will Wisp? Doesn't make sense. But I get burned. That sucks. Because my utility on the star fan is cut quite a bit. Uh, I do get a custom berry effect, which ends up not mattering too much because, like I said, my attacking power is gone. So I'm going to let Dawn fan die. I do get my soul fox, so that's something. I want to scare him out with my soul fire here, my choice scarf Chandelure. He does bring and keep. He does bring in Heatran, which was expected. He has a air balloon, which I break with Shadow Ball, which is great. And that does an okay amount for it being resistant to Shadow Ball. So I guess I'm impressed by that. Now, expecting him to Earth Power, I'm going to switch into Star Raptor, and I'm going to nail him pretty hard with a close combat. This particular Star Actor has a Sharp Beak equipped because I want him to have an extra boost to his Brave Birds and have the ability to switch up moves. So that's always fun. And I revealed to him that I have a Double Edge. I guess that was the wrong way to say it. I have Double Edge on this Star Actor and with that, I guess he's going to switch out into Jellicent, which was expected, I guess. So that means I am going to U-turn, which I end up doing, which is great. So that's always great. I'm going to switch it to uh, Kyurem, my choice spec variant now. And I'm going to nail him pretty hard with a choice spec Dragon Pulse. I don't have Draco Meteor on this. Which, I, I guess I could have Draco Meteor on that, I'm not really sure, I might have to think about that for a while. But I was so close to KOing that Johnson, like, ah, oh, I was like, wow, that was so darn close. But guess what, at that level of HP that he's at, I know I can kick him out, so that's always great, always great, always great. He brings in his shiny Karakion, and I was thinking, okay, what can I do about this? I'm going to switch into Blastoise so I can hit him pretty hard with a Water Spout or maybe a Hydro Pump if he attacked me directly. But he reveals to me that he has Sword Stance. And Blastoise is gone, so <laughs> I basically threw him out there and he ends up dying. This is so unfortunate. I have a Mystic Water on this Blastoise, which I didn't want to have another defensive Blastoise because I have another Blastoise that's defensive, but it doesn't have Rapid Spin, so I wanted to have an offensive variant with Rapid Spin. Alright, so I make a mistake there as I bring in Star Raptor, or as I bring in Shangalore. Uh, I basically just threw Stractor to die, and I, that, that sucks. The original plan was to go into my Chandelure, which I ended up doing just a moment ago, and just nail him pretty hard with a Psychic. Now he brings back in Landorus T, which is fine by me, I'm going to knock him out too. And now he brings in his shiny reckless Fock the Pollock. Not sure where that came out from. No, that came out wrong. Anyways, so I'm going to bring in my Kiram so I can hit him with a blizzard attack. He could have Calm Mind 
I'm like, crap, he does. Darn it all. Now, can I hit him pretty hard with a blizzard? No, because... Why not, right? I'm gonna nail him pretty hard with it again. I miss. Why are you doing this, Kiram? You're facing the wrong way. That sucks, because I basically get him to plus two with the call mines for free, which I didn't want, and he's going to knock me out with a side shock. I'm sorry, Kiram, but if you miss those attacks, you got to have consequences. I'm sorry. I do have Jirachi, which has Draco Meteor, and in order to hit him pretty hard, we're going to go for Calm Mind first. Now, I had a situation before where I faced off against the Reckless before with my Jirachi. It was the worst thing ever. Ugh. Because it was completely hopeless. I scared him out right there, uh, and I should have switched out or went for an attacking move instead of calm minding up, but I stay in and I go for calm mind. I suspected that he might have Encore, I wasn't completely sure, but uh, I figured, okay, so if he's going to Encore me, I'm going to stay in. And then, once my Encore wears off, I'm going to nail him with a very powerful Draco Meteor. So, to do that, I'm going to let him paralyze my Shirashi. And don't get me wrong, I don't want him to get paralyzed. But, like, honestly, I have to stay in here in order to nail him pretty hard with a Draco Meteor, right? Right. Now, he does reach the fine by me. He suspects that... He suspected me to switch out, which is fine by me, but I am going to nail him pretty hard with a Draco Meteor, which ends up being a great situation. Because I can owe him. Awesome. Thank you, Joshi. But now we have Fuck the Pollock to deal with. Now, I could have switched out right there. I wasn't really sure because. At any point, he could have gone for Side Shock, but uh, I don't. Like the the plan is, I don't want Chandelier to come in, suffer from Stealth Ox, and then just get nailed by a Side Shock. That's not cool. That's bad. Uh, so that means I'm going to let Jirachi be in here for a little while, uh, and so my parent, my opponent. Uh, <laughs> It's just like, ugh, why are you not switching out? So we're going to get into this Star War, which ends up being very crappy. Um, I, I have no reason why I went into this Star War. So I'm going to talk about something different for now. There will be an upload on Wednesday, of course, because I upload on Wednesday and every Saturday. Now, you, if you guys saw my one year anniversary, you're going to know that I am going to have an overlay for my videos. I'm going to have some Wi-Fi battles for X and Y. And uh, the, the quality itself is going to be what you see now. Those are just the major things that I'm going to have in the future. So for those who have not seen my one year anniversary video, I got you covered. Now I go for Flash King and I was like, okay, what can I do to get rid of those defense boosts? Flash King, of course, but I don't get the special defense drop, of course, because they have a small chance of doing that. Alrighty then. So I'm like, okay, I'm stuck because he could just go for Sash Shock and then just knock me out. And I don't want Chandelure to suffer from Star Fox and I just get nailed by the Star Shock. Man, I'm getting tired of this. Ugh. But I have to get this battle uploaded because it's Saturday, right? Now he does go for a critical hit. Star Shock, slightly overkill. Uh, it's death like, of course. So. That means the battle is going to be over because Chandelure's Shadow Ball doesn't KO him. 
of course, because he has that special defense boost. So that was a good match. It was a good one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was kind of boring at the end, but it was a good battle overall. Uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.